This week on Studio 209, we go to the Houston Fruit and Nut Festival. Studio 209 is sponsored by City of Turlock Municipal Services, 209 Magazine. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Eddie Ruiz. This week, we take you to the sixth annual Houston Fruit and Nut Festival, and uh, Angelina Martin makes her debut as well here as a correspondent for Studio 209. Let's take a look. Angelina Martin here at the 6th annual Houston Fruit and Nut Festival. Now this isn't my first time at this event, but it is my first time reporting with Studio 209 and I'm really excited. Let's go check it out. And I've got everything it takes to lose my mind And in here the atmosphere is just right for heartache What do you think makes this event so successful and why do you think that it's so important to the community? Well, it's really the same reason. You have multiple aspects of our community come together, planning this event, contributing, and um, it really brings our community together. And at the same time, we raise money that then gets plowed back into our community. Houston is, is community. Uh, when you talk about Houston, we're, we're the smallest community in Stanislaus County, and I've always said that we're the envy of Stanislaus County. But if you look at this, it's not just Houston, but it's the surrounding uh, areas, uh, whether you think of Waterford, Hillmar, Hickman, even the series people come in. What's been the most fun thing that you've done today? Probably making the ice cream. You made ice cream from scratch? Yeah. Have you guys had any delicious food? Anything you want to recommend? Um, the tornado potato is actually really fantastic. I recommend that a lot. So what's been your favorite part of the Fruit and Nut Festival so far? Actually, my favorite part was uh, yesterday we ran into a little girl named Hayden, and she has autism, and she just came running right up to us. Oh, wow. That was the best. Houston is a great place to come and hang with the family. You know, it's a safe place, parking's easy, it's a great family environment. So if you've never been to the Fruit Nut Festival, you missed it this year, but you got next year. Well, I had a blast with my first segment with Studio 209. We saw fruits, nuts, and had a lot of fun. This is Angelina Martin, signing off. Even with the recent rains, it's important to remember that California is still in a drought and water conservation is a top priority. The City of Turlock's watering schedule limits outdoor watering to two days per week. For homes with odd-numbered addresses, watering is allowed on Wednesdays and Sundays. For even-numbered addresses, watering is allowed on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And beginning June 1st, watering is prohibited from the hours of 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. For more information on the City's watering schedule and how to conserve water at home, visit the City of Turlock website at www.cityofturlock.org. Not a bad arm, Angelina. Not, not very accurate, but you have a pretty good arm. Let's just put it that way. Nice to have you on board. And don't forget to check out this episode and all episodes right here, 29magazine.com. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and subscribe exclusively at the Turlock Journal YouTube channel. Next week, I think it's gonna be the ACT Superhero Run at Donnelly Park, that's right. Something unique, something different. You're not gonna get that footage anywhere but here. So for everybody here at Studio 209, I'm Eddie Ruiz. We'll see you next time.